Hi, I'm Tom from MapTiler, and today I'm going to show you how to use MapTiler Server to combine satellite images and drone imagery into a single beautiful colour toned image mosaic. MapTiler Server runs on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Docker. Follow the links in the description below to learn how to install it. Note that virtual tile sets are not available for Mac OS. For the satellite data, I am going to use sample imagery from MapTiler Data. Go to MapTiler.com data and click on the My Data button. From the Data Dashboard page, select the Map Styles tab and download both Map Styles and Aerial Zurich. Once you have the files downloaded, drag and drop them into the MapTiler Server Admin interface. For my drone imagery, I am going to use images from Open Aerial Map. The link is in the description below. The images are in TIFF format, so we'll use MapTiler Engine to convert them. The process couldn't be easier. Just drop the TIFF and convert it into a GeoPackage or MB tile. In this example, I'm going to leave the default setting. If you want to know more about MapTiler Engine, have a look at our MapTiler Engine YouTube series. Drag the file you've just created to MapTiler Server Admin and click Rescan. Before creating your virtual tileset, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss the next Map Tiler Server video. Now, scroll down the Tiles tab to find your new Map Tiler Satellite virtual tileset. Click on it, select Edit JSON, and find virtual sources. Here, you need to define all the individual tilesets that will be part of the new virtual tileset. Let's create a virtual tileset of medium resolution satellite images and an aerial image of the Zurich area first. This needs to be defined in the virtual sources array. You can copy this code from the written how to guide or paste it in from your text editor of choice. Save the file, go back to the tiles and click the Rescan button. The first thing you'll notice is that there is quite a difference in colour tones between the satellite and aerial images. But don't worry, we can adjust the colours to unify their appearance. To do that, I need to go back to the virtual tileset definition and add pixel operations to the definition of the Zurich data source. For the pixel operation, it is possible to set up contrast, gamma, and saturation. To really perfect it, I'll also adjust the opacity of those layers. Now let's add the drone imagery. First, let's have a look at what we can find out about this tile set. There are bounds that we will use and these coordinates need to be in the same coordinate system as the rest of the virtual tileset. If the coordinates of your tileset need conversion, you can use the Coordinates API to do this. There's more about this in the written tutorial linked below. Lastly, there is an ID for the drone imagery, which is quite long, so let's shorten that to Drone. Now I can add these tiles to my virtual tileset. Every source in the virtual tileset needs to have a defined URL that is made up of the ID of the tiles in MapTiler Server, their bounds, the min and max zoom levels, and the name. Now I can see the drone imagery in the virtual tileset. But again, the colours are not completely right. 
Let's change that by adding those pixel operations we did to the other dataset. And refresh. Now you can see the new drone image nicely blended in. If you found this video on virtual tilesets useful, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video. See you next time.